There are several different ways to manufacture aluminum pots and pans. Some factories have giant machines that simply stamp out or mold the cookware, while other factories use a technique called metal spinning. To make cookware that's safe for food use, the aluminum must be pure, no other metals mixed in. It all starts with a round aluminum sheet called a blank. They stamp the pot size and company name on what will be the bottom of the pot. They clamp it onto a lathe, centered against what's called the chuck, a metal mold shaped like the inside of the pot they're going to spin. The lathe spins at 2,000 revolutions per minute. Guided by computer software, the spinning tool, a round wheel made of a special plastic, pushes against the chuck, stretching and shaping the aluminum blank, much the way potters stretch and shape clay against their hand on a pottery wheel. Except that metal spinning works sideways, not up and down like pottery. The machine trims off excess aluminum as it rounds the edges. The factory has no use for these very sharp metal leftovers, but it doesn't throw them out. Aluminum is difficult to mine and therefore very expensive, so scrap aluminum is sent off to be recycled into other products. After the final trim to the finished size, another trimmer moves in to take the sharpness off the edge. It's taken four minutes to spin this 32-liter pot. Now it comes off the lathe. They punch out handle holes. Then rivet on aluminum handles. The pot is now finished. Items that aren't as large and heavy are spun on a hand lathe. This is where you need an experienced metal spinner. Because this trade isn't a mechanical science, you've got to have a feel for it. Besides cookware, many other aluminum products are spun on a lathe. This is a light reflector, that round aluminum fixture that covers light bulbs in factories, stores and arenas. When working the hand lathe, the metal spinner uses what's called a scissor tool. It's the equivalent of the plastic wheel on the automated lathe. As the blank spins, he moves his tool further and further down to stretch the aluminum into the right shape. This is a sausage funnel. And this will be the inside tube of a cake pan. He makes the body of the cake pan on a different lathe, using a variety of tools to get a variety of effects. This beading tool creates an edge, for example. Almost all metals can be spun, though some are better suited for the technique than others. Aluminum and steel are very formable metals, so they provide the best results.